Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Libra, this is your weekly March 1st through March 7th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation first. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, Temperance and the King of Cups. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. You could be also dealing with a Sagittarius or a Water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, I think you're dealing with this Earth sign, the Queen of Pentacles, male or female, doesn't really matter. Or it could be your business partner or one of your co-workers. And I think that person is leaving. They could be quitting their job or they could be um, you know, go, going on vacation. Basically, they will be away for a while. And I think Temperance and the King of Cups, this is an advice for you to stay in control of your emotions, you know, stay calm. They will most likely be back soon. Don't panic. Um, it'll be all right. Libra, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords clarified by the Four of Wands, and then we also have Temperance and the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. I think the Queen of Cups in this case is either you or your love interest. Uh, that love interest could be... Um, a water sign but it doesn't need, they don't have to be I think you're a little bit confused about um, leveling up your relationship to the next level right whatever that level is for you you could be uh, you could be thinking of a proposal or about moving in together you know that kind of stuff and the um, this uh, the suggestion the advice here is to uh, stay calm don't panic just like in the previous spread, right? And express your love. Go for it. Go ahead. I think uh, they will be very receptive to this uh, proposal. Um, we do have the Ace of Cups on the table and it doesn't get any better than uh, love offers when it comes to the Ace of Cups. It's the best there is. So, um, like I said, you're a little bit worried about a uh, proposal or raising your relationship to the next level could be moving in together but don't worry about it it'll be all right because we've got only positive cards on the team there is nothing to worry about go for it Libra if you're on the quest for new love this week uh, this spread is for you we've got the ten of swords clarified by the seven of cups then we also have six of swords temperance and the will of fortune you could be dealing with a Sagittarius I can interpret the spread uh, two different ways. Uh, scenario one is uh, there was some kind of an offer on the table at some point recently, but then that offer got rejected and whoever was rejected is trying to balance themselves out, they're trying to heal this rejection, they're trying to deal with it basically and the uh, suggestion here is to like I said don't worry about it stay calm just start a new cycle or go travel do something about that just take your mind off of it another way to interpret this spread I think is uh, if there is some kind of an offer on the table and if there were any illusions if there were more than one options then the illusions are coming to an end and you're deciding on one particular person and you're moving towards that particular person and uh, a new cycle will begin between you and them it could be a Sagittarius that you're moving towards or it could be pretty much anybody so that's your new love for this week 
Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, somebody is definitely coming back from the past for you if you're expecting somebody, or maybe not. The Six of Cups, the card in the middle, is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. It could be somebody from a few months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini. The Lovers is the uh, Gemini's personal card. Or, this is just the indication that when this particular ex does resurface, you'll have to make a choice whether to accept this person or not. We do have the Ten of Pentacles on the table. The Ten of Pentacles, in this case, is uh, abundance, it's uh, family, and uh, it's a happy family with the, with the money, with um, real estate, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, whatever choice you're going to make, it will be the right choice. But like I said, we've got uh, all the ingredients for a happy family on the table. So it'll be up to you. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Libra, this week. We've got the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, so the surprise this week is somebody is coming back from the past because we've got the Five of Pentacles, the card on the left. This is a card of somebody who was left out in the cold in the past. So, uh, this week you could be hearing from that person. It could be a Gemini, right? And this spread really reminds me of the, uh, the X spread I did for you just a couple of minutes ago. So, this person is coming in with an apology and uh, with an offer of a new passionate start. However, it will be a burden for you. So, you're going to take a hot minute to think about it. And like I said, it will be up to you whether you want to accept this person back and restart, reboot this relationship with them. And that will be your surprise of the week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.